the 2023 New Year's Eve Ball Drop. I finally went to experience it for myself to see what it's all about. First of all, it was wet. It was raining. Puddles were everywhere. Even the cardboard became mush. It moved like dead skin or moist bread. Yeah. And there were police everywhere. Every corner, ops, pigs, 5-0. Times Square was under martial law. There was no escape from the badge. Their main job was to keep people behind the guardrails and stop them from creeping up. But they couldn't stop me. I dipped out of there faster than a dog with no leash. <laughs> Foaming at the mouth and shit. And after all that, I ended up getting a spot that honestly wasn't that much closer. I was still on the edge of 50th Street, so I didn't really have a great view of the ball drop, but it mattered not. The countdown came anyway. Fireworks, confetti, <laughs> this moment was surreal, I'm but after today. all the hugs and New Year's kisses, it was time to clear out, and the gates of hell swung open. Trampled, stampeded by other hunks of flesh attempting to escape, swallowed into every direction with no regard for existence. Even strange beasts lurk in the crevices. And once you make it out of Lucifer's hallway, you're greeted with trash. Mounds and mounds and mounds of trash and pizza. All of the years, vices sprinkled across the street, along the sidewalks, everywhere for everyone to see, ever so beautifully, like a painting. And even though Times Square turned into a complete landfill, it was still teeming with life. Which I think is a good moral for the upcoming year. Even if your life is a mound of trash, that doesn't mean you can't still enjoy it. Good luck in 2023, y'all.